All right, guys, what's going on? Fun Doris here. It's been a long time since I've actually done that intro. So today's video is about my video game collection. This is something I've been wanting to do for quite some time now. As you can see, I have a shelf of all of my video games. So I don't have a giant collection and that's kind of how I want to keep it. I really don't want my collection to get out of hand. I just only collect like games that I genuinely enjoy or like. And all of these games are pretty much games that I have either played through and really enjoyed or games that I definitely want to get to but haven't yet. So I guess starting at the top because it's the easiest thing to do. You know, I got the Atari flashback. I don't know. I might sell that eventually. It's not that fun. Uh, I got Berserk for the Atari as well. I haven't played that because I actually don't have like an actual Atari. Um, up here we got Pool for the SNES. Never played that actually because I have one right here. As you can see, I have an SNES, but I don't know if it works or not. I got this at a thrift store and I don't have a power cord or anything for it. So I actually have no idea if it works. I'm sure it does though. I just need to buy a cord for it. And then also up here, we got a sealed Super Smash Bros for the 3DS. Pretty neat. I don't know if this is real or fake. Somebody in the comments tell me. It's a sealed uh, new Super Mario Bros for the DS. I think it's fake. I got it for a really cheap price though at a flea market, which is also why I think it's fake. So if it's fake, I don't really care. That's why I actually keep it behind the sealed Super Smash Bros, which I definitely know is real. And then I just have the big box for Switch Sports and the Wii Sports Resort. And going down to the PlayStation section, I don't have a giant PlayStation collection as of right now, but I have some PSP games, you know, we got Star Wars, Lego Star Wars 2, iPad, and iPad is not a great game, but I have the box for it. And the reason I have it is because I got this brand new on eBay for $15. It's still sealed. And the reason I actually wanted this game is because it comes with the PSP camera and the PSP camera itself is worth like 20 bucks. And somebody was selling a brand new sealed iPad that includes the camera for 15. So I was like, that's a really good deal. Why not buy it? So I bought it and I'm happy with it. I also have Need for Speed Shift for the PSP in this nice cardboard thing. My coolest PS1 game, I think, would be the Sealed X-Files. It's definitely real, real authentic seal. Let's see if the camera can focus. But yeah, Sealed X-Files right here. Really cool part of the collection. And uh, we got, you know, Gran Turismo 1. We got Tomb Raider, Surf Riders, and Resident Evil Nemesis. So pretty neat. PS2, we got Transworld Surf, 007. Uh, Ace Combat 4, 04, I guess. Gran Turismo 4. Uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja. I actually haven't played this game yet, so I don't know if it's good. Midnight Club. Love the Midnight Club games. Finding Nemo. And the reason I have Finding Nemo is because this is the first video game that I ever played when I was young, when I was a baby. This was the first one I ever played, so, you know, I gotta keep that. Uh, Pirates Legend of Black Cat. One of my favorite cover arts for the PS2, Star Wars Starfighter. Super cool. And then of course we have to have Spider-Man for the PS2. Moving on to my favorite PlayStation console as of right now, we got the PS3 section. I know the PS3 section is pretty non-existent. I don't really have a big PS3 collection, but definitely want to get some more games for it. Tekken 6, uh, Call of Duty 3. I got Uncharted 1 and 3. I'm still looking for Uncharted 2. Grand Turismo 5, which is, it's an okay game. As you guys can probably see with the sticker, I get most of my games from thrifting. I like to save money and, you know, find games as I thrift. So sometimes I keep the sticker on there just to remember how much I got it for. And uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, 1.5 Remix, pretty cool. I also got the PS3 UDraw tablet, and the game is in there too, but I don't have, like, the adapter, so I actually can't use it. So that's kind of pointless to have right now. I kind of just have it up there to look cool. Anyways, down to probably most people's favorite brand for gaming, the Nintendo Shelf. Uh, so right over here, you know, we got Legend of Zelda for the NES. Pretty banged up, but once again, found that thrifting. We got Tetris on the Game Boy. Uh, the SNES that I actually have no idea if it works. Uh, we got Donkey Kong for the Atari. Pretty neat. I think that's the first time Mario ever appeared in a game is with that Donkey Kong game right there. I, I, I might be wrong with that, but... Uh, so actually all of my GameCube games I found at garage sales and this one I found thrifting. So I'll show you guys really quick. I picked this guy up the other day, $4 at Goodwill. Odama for the GameCube, really awesome. We got Star Wars The Clone Wars, Spider-Man 2 for the GameCube. Of course, we got to get Luigi's Mansion. Mario Kart Double Dash, unfortunately, I don't have the game. I didn't check the case at the garage sale and it's just the case, but... You know, what are you going to do? And then uh, Sonic Adventure 2. 
Right next to the other shelf, actually, I keep my Pokemon games because, I don't know, I feel like it's just a great series of games, so I have to put it separate. Um, so, starting off with the DS stuff, we got Platinum, we got Black, Pokemon Y, which is a great game. I used to have X, and I, I don't know what happened to X. I lost it somehow. Rumble Blast, and then for the Switch, we only got a few games. We got Legends Arceus. And we also got Pokemon Snap and Brilliant Diamond. I did have Sword, but I sold it. I kind of regret that, but I don't really care at the same time. And then for the Wii, we got Pokemon Battle Revolution. And by far, the most rare game I have in my collection would be this Pokemon Coliseum for the GameCube. And the reason it's so rare is because, as you can see in the top corner, it's the Jirachi Bonus Disc variant. So, so this is a pre-order bonus version of Pokemon Coliseum. And I actually have it wrapped in plastic right now to protect it a little bit. But so basically there's two discs in here. One of them has like Jirachi on it. And there's another version of the Pokemon Coliseum uh, pre-order bonus. But usually the disc is in a separate case. But this is all in one. And this is a very expensive game. It's worth about $500 to $1,000 at the moment. So super, super rare game. It took me a few weeks to find this game online to like just so I can know the value. I picked this guy up at a garage sale. All my GameCube games besides Odama I found at a garage sale I got for 25 bucks for all of them. So crazy deal. One of if not the rarest game in my entire collection. More Switch stuff. We got Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Uh, Animal Crossing. Favorite game on the Switch by far. Uh, you know Super Mario Bros. Wii. Super Mario Galaxy. Pac-Man Party which is actually sealed still. You guys can see the... Uh, seal on that fool actually in the game right below it we got merv griffin's crosswords sealed that game is literally worth like six dollars so nothing special i don't own a wii u but i have two wii u games i got animal crossing amiibo festival and then assassin's creed black flag we play we hit plus avatar how to train your dragon donkey kong country returns wii sports resort super smash bros mario kart smarter than a fifth grader thor and sean white I also have uh, Wii Sports, of course, the regular Wii Sports, which is up here somewhere. Oh, actually, this game is sealed, too. Uh, I don't really know what that's worth. Probably 20 bucks or so, but... I also got Star Wars for the NES. Pretty neat. That looks like it's in great shape. And here are my regular DS games. I won't list them all, because there's a lot, but I'll just go slowly down. Fossil Fighters, great game. Great game right there. Um, I had a lot more DS games. And when I was little, I asked my mom to sell them all for me, and which is one of my biggest regrets because I had more Pokemon games and more rare games that are worth a lot in today's world, which kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? Also, in the back here, that guy is pretty neat. So that's from Bandai, and it's from the 80s, I think 86 or 83. It's really rare. I, I literally can only find one or two other ones on eBay online. Um, so it's basically Pac-Man, but it's called Pac-Re Monster. It's pretty rare. Pretty cool, my grandparents gave me that. Down to one of my favorite childhood consoles is the Xbox 360. Uh, so I grew up playing Xbox. I love Xbox, love Halo. We got all the Halo games, one, Halo 2, and a Steelbook. Halo 3, which is a pre-order bonus of Halo 3, so that's really cool. Another Halo 3, just the regular version. Halo Reach, great game. Halo 4, and Halo 3, again, I know I'm crazy, but I found but I found so many Halo 3s thrifting. But the reason I have this one, this is the Steelbook. And it's sticker sealed. So it's not like wrapped sealed, but it's sticker sealed. Meaning it's literally never been opened still. And so this guy's worth about $200 to $300. So really cool piece of my collection right there. Also got a Halo Funko Pop right there. I also got a Sega Genesis game right there. I got that at a garage sale for 5 bucks. Uh, I know it doesn't really match anything, but it fits perfectly right there. A few Xbox One games, nothing crazy, you know, Lego Star Wars and whatever. Uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens Steelbook, pretty neat. Here's some of my 360 games, you know, nothing too crazy, nothing too rare. I just really enjoyed Xbox 360 as a kid. Once again, I sold some of my 360 games a few years ago and I regret it, but pretty neat. So down here, I actually have a few games that I don't have on the shelf right now. I got a GameCube game, Shamu's Deep Adventure. I got this for a quarter at a flea market, so I don't know. It's not in the right case, so I don't put it on the shelf. And then I don't really have any Kinect games on my shelf uh, because I just figure they don't really belong on the shelf for right now. So I have these in a sh in a so I have these in a cabinet, but you know, just basic Kinect games. And then I have some loose games in here: Gran Turismo 2, we got PGR, Sega GT 2002, 
Frogger, Battlefield, Netflix for the Wii, pretty neat, Ratatouille, and Call of Duty 3, and I think that's it for my loose discs. And then at the bottom shelf, this is because I don't really have anything else to display, so I got an old Star Wars uh, box with the actual display piece that goes in. And I got an extra keyboard and whatever. This shelf I'll fill in eventually whenever I get more gaming stuff. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up my game collection right now. I'll update you guys in the future whenever I do any changes or anything or get a lot of new games. And I didn't show any of my consoles, but if you guys want to see any of my actual like video game consoles, I can also do a collection of those. That would be pretty neat to do. Um, but yeah, this was just my video game collection besides the SNES because that's the only console that I have on display. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.